Welcome back. Okay, in the last video, I promised you a challenge. And so here's the challenge, okay? We've determined after doing our, our tweaking and everything, we determined that after, you know, we finish recording and we release the CD and based on what we expect we can sell, we're going to end up with a profit of $130. It's not a lot, but let's just say that, that that's what it is. We're going to come up with a profit of $130. Phew, it's hard work to be a musician. Okay, so now what I'd like to ask you is this, what would you do if I asked you to tell me, okay, um, how much of a profit is that going to be if we split that amongst all the band members? And you, the first thing you're probably asking me is, well, all right, Kathleen, how many band members are there? And let's, let me, how about I tell you that there are five band members, okay? So what could you do? What, what formula or what, what tool would you use um, to figure out what the profit is per band member? Okay, so I'm going to start off, I'm just going to write here profit per band member. Okay, there we go. And let's start by figuring this out. All right, so we're probably going to use a formula. Well, we're definitely going to use a calculation, that's for sure. Um, and so I, I suppose we could just go into start a calculation. We're going to do the equal sign. And I suppose you could just type, you know, I said it's, it's $130, you know, profit, and then maybe we're going to do we're going to do a division, right? Because we're going to say profit per band member. And I told you there are five band members. I could do that, right? Is that what you decided to do? Well, there's probably a more flexible way to do it. You could instead go this, right? D23 divided by five. You could certainly do that. And here we see each band member is going to have a whopping $26 to take home. So I guess enough for a pizza or something. Um, all right. So is that what you did? Did you do D23 divided by five? Well, that's one way of approaching it, okay? Um, what if I, what if we decide to add an extra band member, okay? Uh, then what are we gonna do? We're gonna have to edit this. We're gonna have to edit this. Let's say we've got an extra band member. Now we have six band members, and then now we're gonna have to edit this every single time. How about, if we're gonna, if we think that we might have to edit that, why don't we actually add an extra line? Why don't we go insert rows, and then we say number of band members. Whoops, I've gotta spell that right, band members. Okay. Remember, this is about using your imagination. There's no right or wrong answer here, but if you use your imagination, if you think ahead, you can actually end up saving yourself an awful lot of time and effort down the road. So number of band members, let's put the number of band members in there. Let's go back to five. Whoops. And we don't want that. Ooh, we don't want that to be a dollar number, do we? No. So let's actually change that format and we want to change the formats. It's not $5. We just want it to be plain old number, just a plain old number. Okay, so I'll click that to okay. There we go. All right, still would have worked, but bothers me to see that as a as a, as currency. Okay, so now what we're going to do is let's rewrite this. I'll delete this all together and let's rewrite this formula. What are you going to do now? You're going to do equals, right? And we're going to do yeah. See if we use the cell references, this builds the most flexible template possible. So D23 divided by this number right here, right? We'll go ahead and hit enter and we get the same answer, but now, you know, whenever the number of band members changes, let's say, you know, let's say the the keyboard player decides to drop out. Now we're down to four members. We can change that right there and it automatically changes that for us. There we go. There's the answer to our little challenge, our little bonus round challenge of splitting the proceeds. Okay. So now you know how to do that. You also know that probably getting into a band is probably not a very lucrative endeavor based on this budget, certainly. Okay, so um, that's it for this budget. Uh, we're going to start wrapping up now. The next uh, screencast, we're going to talk about choosing the right file format to save this in, because you probably noticed I did a very bad thing. I haven't actually saved this yet, and that's terrible. You should never, ever do that. You should always save as you go. And so in the next screencast, we're going to talk about what are the different file formats that are available to to us in screen uh, when, when we're doing uh, spreadsheets and which one should we use under different circumstances. So I'll see you in that screencast.